We are here in Seattle and I'm going to be checking out some cool things you can see and do here in Seattle in one day. Uh, hey everyone, Skyler, Scott Mann and welcome. I have always wanted to come to Seattle and it's so great to finally make it here. Back in the Pacific Northwest. So we're going to be, as I was saying, we're going to be exploring Seattle for the day, check out some cool sights. And we're starting off here at the waterfront right by Puget Sound. So let's go walk along the waterfront. Welcome to Seattle. It is the largest city in the Pacific Northwest. I'm starting off my day over here at the waterfront, which has all kinds of cool attractions you can check out. There's some different restaurants along in here too, although I didn't eat at anything over here. But it's still cool to walk along the waterfront and also get some great views over at Puget Sound. You can even see the Olympic Mountains over at Olympic Peninsula. And of course, get a nice view of the skyline. Now, overall, it's a very cool place to go for a walk. What a cool waterfront. What a great way to start my adventure here in Seattle today. So now we're gonna head up that way and we're gonna head over to Pike Place Market next. All right, we made it up from the waterfront and we've made it to Pike Place Market. It's the one of the largest and oldest continuously running public markets in the United States. It's gonna be really cool to take a look and just explore. It is an icon here in Seattle. So yeah, what a cool market. And also got some food over at Pike Place Market too. And I'm filming a separate food video too. And I got to show the food in greater detail and a separate video. You have to check that out if, it, if, it's, if it's not already up, make sure to click, the, click that subscribe button so that we don't miss that upcoming video. All right, so we're gonna go explore downtown next. All right, so over here, this is Pioneer Square. It's got a lot of beautiful buildings over in this part. This is kind of like one of the historic areas of Seattle. And what's really cool is that over here, there's even an underground tour which you can take where you can basically get to see Seattle, well, basically underground because a little bit more about some of the history is that in the late 1880s, there was a terrible fire which burned everything down on the ground and they basically had to rebuild everything and they decided to build on top of the original street level so we're technically one level up right now it was really cool is that the underground tour i couldn't really do video there they weren't really permitting that but got, i was able to get a few photos of it but it's like because they built the original or built on top of the original street so it's like you got to see what looked like the, the old streets back then, but now it's like, it's, of course, as you can see in some of the photos I was just showing, it's, it's like, it, it looks like underground, not caverns, but like underground passages now. But yeah, it's pretty cool though. All right, so we're back over at Pike Place Market, basically almost where we started the video, although it's more down at the waterfront. But as a matter of fact, I am technically parked over in this area. That's why I came back over here. 
because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go check out a couple of the different districts around Seattle. So a couple of really cool areas, there's Queen Anne, which is to the north of here, and there's also Capitol Hill over to the east a little bit. So we're going to head over to Queen Anne next because, matter of fact, I'm going to be heading over there to get dinner at a really cool restaurant in my food tour video. All right, so I will see you over in the, in the Queen Anne area. Just gotta get back to my rental car. All right, and we have made it to one of the different districts here in Seattle. So we're out of the downtown area. When visiting Seattle, it's very important to check out some of the other different neighborhoods throughout the area. So this is Queen Anne. Got a nice collection of nice small shops and restaurants and it's a great place just to hang out. And also the Queen Anne area, it's, it's on top of a big hill overlooking the city. You'll know what I mean when we get to the very end of today's video. And it's also lo the location of the famous Space Needle, but that's a little bit further back down the hill. We'll head over there after dinner though, but in the meantime, let's go walk around. What a nice area. And now that too, I was even able to get some dinner over at the Five Spot Diner over at the, the southern end of the area for some top-notch food. That's gonna be in a separate video. So you definitely have to check that out for some cool spots to get some food around Seattle. All right, so we're gonna head to the southern part of the Queen Anne area, head down to where the Space Needle is. For, let's go walk around there for a little bit. We have made it to the Seattle Center. This complex here, just to the north of downtown, like at the south end of the Queen Anne area, this is where you have all kinds of different attractions you can check out, different museums, and of course, the famous Space Needle. The Space Needle was constructed back around 1962 for the World's Fair for 1962. It's 605 feet tall and you can get some fantastic views of Seattle from the very top. I will warn you though, it is very, very expensive, especially if you go up for like the evening hours for like sunset. On a clear day though, you can even see Mount Rainier off to the south, southeast. Man, that sun is bright. <laughs> but anyway, just a little bit to the north of the Space Needle, we have the Museum of Pop Culture. If I had some extra time here, I'd love to go in and check it out. It's a really cool museum. It goes all into the, all, well, all kinds of different pop culture exhibits. Because after all, Seattle is, has a lot of music history here. Like, that's just music, too. Like, of course, Jimi Hendrix is from here. The band Heart is from here. And, of course, you can't forget about grunge. Huge rock movement during the early 90s. Think of bands like Nirvana, Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden. Lots of great classics. So yeah, it'd be cool to check it out, but yeah, I might have to check it out on a future trip, future trip though. What a cool fountain. This is pretty impressive, I have to say. You know, the whole Seattle Center complex is a really neat area. Of course, now you have the Space Needle, but also the monorail, which goes into downtown Seattle. And of course, you got all these different museums and of course, this beautiful fountain. You definitely have to check it out at least once here. Although I would not advise parking right by here because I had to pay $30 for parking, which is outrageous. We're, there's a possibility you might be able to get something cheaper in the city for a short period of time and just take the monorail here. 
But anyway, so another neighborhood you can check out is the Capitol Hill, Capitol Hill area. I'll feature that really quick in this video. However, because I don't have really time to go there today, I'm gonna be going there uh, one of the other days on this trip. So, but I still wanna cover it. So we'll segue to that really quick. And then after that, we're gonna go get a spectacular view of the city for sunset. All right, so this is the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not even wearing the same shirt. <laughs> Well, it's because I'm technically filming this on a different day because I did not have enough time to cover this part in my in the same day because I was doing a bunch of other things. But Capitol Hill is another cool area you could check out while visiting Seattle for the day. So pardon the, the shirt change, but <laughs> other than that, uh, it's a very cool area. It's a, has, there's a lot of diverse shops, cafes, restaurants, you name it here. So. Very cool area, so well, let's go explore it. Welcome to Capitol Hill. This is a center of Seattle counterculture, and it's also an LGBTQ friendly neighborhood, kind of like how Ferndale is to the Detroit area. And also, this is considered to be one of the birthplaces of grunge. Well, technically, Seattle is the, is the birthplace of grunge, but a lot of it was centered around Capitol Hill, at least for some of the research I have done. And it's a pretty cool area overall to, to, to walk around. I gotta say, it's a very interesting area. V very cool, I have to say. All right, so yeah, definitely walk around Capitol Hill when visiting Seattle. This, along with Queen Anne, both are very interesting neighborhoods to check out. So I definitely recommend them, both of them. <laughs> All right, so now, before we conclude the video, we're gonna go back to the main day. We're about to go take a look at the view of Seattle for sunset. And this is Cary Park. This is where you get the best views of Seattle from here. And this is why I did not go up the Space Needle because if you're, you can get some very cool views of Seattle from the top of the Space Needle, but it's very expensive and not only that too, but you're missing out one of the most iconic pieces of Seattle, the Space Needle. You can't get a photo of the Space Needle if you're in it. <laughs> So yeah, definitely come over to Cary Park here in the Queen Anne area, which is not far from where we were, were, were where I got dinner earlier. So Cary Park is absolutely spectacular. It's in a residential area, but there's plentiful parking along the streets here, so you can easily find a spot. I get my tripod out, out here, but it's very crowded, so I don't think that's a very good idea. But you can get some really cool views. You get downtown Seattle, the Space Needle, and of course, you can even see Mount Rainier, you can even see the seaport, and the whole Puget Sound, or much of the Puget Sound. It is such an iconic place, and if you're spending some time in Seattle, whether it's a day like this video, or if you're spending a whole weekend or even a week, you have to check out Kerry Park. What a great way to conclude the day. Absolutely spectacular. I've had such a great time here in Seattle today. I'm so glad I finally got to make it here, and so this is all the cool things you could do in a day here in Seattle. Although in all reality, to check out even more cool things, you pretty much need a whole weekend just in the city. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video here in Seattle, Washington, just going over things to do in one day. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button so that we don't miss any future adventures. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott with the Scott Man Sang out here from Cary Park in Seattle, Washington.